Okay, well, thank you all for being here today, taking the time to learn about some natural options. If, you, if you're if you here, whether you your, yourself have migraines or maybe you're coming to learn the information for a loved one, um, I just, I want to share from my personal experience, you know, what actually got me into the world of essential oils was my, was migraines. And it's been a long, long struggle for me. I uh, have actually had migraines since kindergarten. So for my entire life, I've had, you know, where they completely debilitating at least uh, once a week, sometimes a couple days a week. And I was missing out on a lot of life. And over the years have tried every pill shot spray, you know, option out there from the doctor on how to find some relief. Um, and with those options that I've received, I have had some pretty horrific experiences, to be honest. I've had my organs shut down, had to be put in the emergency room countless times, uh, not just from the migraines themselves, but from like the actual prescriptions that the doctors had tried to give me. Um, so I have seen, you know, good and bad side of modern medicine. There's definitely some wonderful advancements that have been made, but in my opinion, if you can find something that's safe and effective and you can take care of at home, like that's a win-win all around. So um, just thank you guys for, for being willing to learn and for being willing to spread that knowledge with other people who are hurting and needing some, some different options because you know, some people are okay with popping pills and one after the other covering up those side effects, but if you want to learn how to get to the root cause of these migraines and, you know, whatever other issues you have going on in your body, uh, if you don't already have an essential oil mentor, we have a beautiful team that would really be honored to help you on your journey because there really is no better gift than being that connection for somebody when they have that transformation with their health. Like it's, it truly is a blessing to be able to do that for somebody. So uh, reach out to your team, reach out to your oil mentor. And if you don't have one, if somebody referred you to this, um, ask them who their oil mentor is so we can get you plugged in with more support because we have a lot of education and, uh, community that we want to offer you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the presentation so you can see what all the goodies we have for you today. Uh, I'm going to make my little head small here. All right. So there are so many causes of migraines. And I definitely, if you guys haven't done your own homework with your own body, you need to do that, you know, because I'm going to show you so many different solutions, um, but it really depends on what the cause of your migraines uh, are. Um, and just some of the very common ones, of course, diet. Diet is going to be huge for so many issues that, that come up with the people we help, but diet really is the foundation for your body. Uh, hormone imbalance, especially with women, this is a big one. <laughs> um, and through, throughout all the ages, right? Because as women, not only are we changing um, as we age, but on a daily basis throughout the month, you know, we, our bodies are changing. So definitely going to be sharing some of our favorites for, for hormone support. Lack of sleep and rest. So I know that when I don't get enough sleep, that's like just asking to get a migraine. So really taking care of your body, making sure you're putting in that time for rest and self-care is crucial. So we're gonna share some of our favorite options for helping you relax physically and emotionally so that you can rest, whether you're trying to just take a five minute break or you know take that long deep rest that your body needs and deserves. Then stress and emotional distress. Ooh, man, I will tell you what guys, I, I would say honestly, probably about now, now that I've done a lot of the foundational work and giving my body the tools that it needs and those migraines that were happening because of, you know, my body being out of whack. Um, now I'd say the biggest reason for my migraines is emotional distress. So, you know, finding <laughs> those tools that will help you stay in balance, keep your mood in balance because, um, there's a lot going on in the world, especially now, and it's okay to not feel good all the time, okay? <laughs> Nobody feels good all the time. We all need help. We all have bad days. We all have bad moments. We all have bad months. Like, it happens, okay? So I want to share some of my favorite tools for helping with emotional support. Then inflammation. So for a lot of people having, we all have inflammation in our bodies, um, but some of us have more than others. So 
there are definitely some ways you can cut down on inflammation in your body. And then uh, your environment, you know, what, depending on where you live, what you're exposed to, um, if you're in uh, the city and you're constantly breathing in additional toxins, I mean, even just your home, you'd be shocked at how many toxins uh, are there in your home. And that's a whole nother class, really, if you're interested in um, cutting down the toxic load in your environment. Uh, we actually have in-depth classes on all of these topics. So today is really just going to be a little sneak peek, a little snippet of each of these. But if you want more info on any of these, we can definitely, um, you know, provide a class for you. And all of our education is always completely free. Uh, and then the last thing, pressure changes. So we can control so much, but not the weather. So I have some options that will help you, you know, win things are shifting as the weather is changing, the pressures, barometric pressure is, is changing. That can definitely be a trigger for a lot of people. All right, so um, let's get into first, uh, and I'm going to change this. So, okay. So first of all, if you haven't figured out what your food triggers are, like for me, I know that I can't do caffeine. Uh, chocolate's a big uh, trigger for me. Not, not dark chocolate, but just milk chocolate. You know, you have to learn your body, figure out what it is that feels good when you eat it and what, when you're eating, you know, something that's full of sugar and you know that it's going to affect you later, you know, do, do that homework. You guys, it really, it's worth it to take the time to have that, do a 30 day journal and just write down everything you're eating and write down how you're feeling, how much water you're, you're putting in your body. Um, just become aware because a lot of us, we're not even aware <laughs> of what we're putting in there. We just go through the motions of the day. So when you write it down, you really do become aware of the fuel that you're putting in there. And um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna share you know the foundation that I would suggest for for your body in just a minute. But um, you know, let's be real, guys. Not everybody has the ability or time or the patience to do super clean eating. I know when I actually there was a period of time for about a year and a half where I literally had no sugar in my diet besides you no know, natural sugar from from fruits, and even then it was very limited. Um, but and I felt great. <laughs> it was awesome. But then I had a baby and I, I can't, I can't keep that up. Okay. <laughs> like I just am being honest. So, um, it's really important for me that I do a cleanse at least twice a year because, uh, even though I try to eat really healthy, you know, I, I know that there's still some things that I need to, to flush out of my system. So, um, you know, if you really want to start clean, do a cleanse and we have an amazing, it's a 30 day cleanse. Um, I, like I said, I try to do it twice a year. Really, really helps just flush out those toxins out of your, out of your body. And you feel better physically and emotionally too. You'll, you'll feel better in, in multiple ways. Um, and we have the protocol for that. We, you know, we have lots of support for that because it is, uh, with some, some people, they can have a little more uh, side effects than others or that those, you know, as their body is detoxing, it can be more uncomfortable than other people. Uh, so you'll want to be with your oil mentor if you do decide to do a cleanse so we can help, you know, offer some support to make it much more gentle on your body. Um, so really, really though, at the foundation of our health, the foundation of all your health and what builds the strongest body is the fuel that you're putting inside of it. So even when I was eating no sugar, super raw, clean, organic, like beautiful diet, I still took my supplements. I still did my lifelong vitality pack. And I will say for myself, and the people that I have helped on their wellness journeys, this, the lifelong vitality pack has been the transformation for everyone's health, like above and beyond. And this is actually why this is doTERRA's number one product. There's a 30 day guarantee with this Life on Vitality pack. So if you tried it and you didn't love it after 30 days, no worries, no harm done. Like you literally have nothing to lose. Whenever I'm coaching somebody on regardless, whatever their wellness goals are, this is going to be the number one thing that I suggest they start with because usually after 30 days of being on this, so many of like the very mild aches and pains, just things that they complain about, daily headaches, things like that, they just fall off. Uh, and then, you know, later after 30 days, we can look at them, you know, reassess their personal situation and add additional oils or supplements uh, for areas they need to focus on. But this really takes care of so much of just 
you know, the basis for, for, for so many people. Um, and we have a class specifically on, uh, you know, learning more about our supplements and things, but so I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but just know that when you take this, the big things that people feel, um, besides more energy is they feel that brain fog is gone. They just feel younger. Like does it have more energy and life in them? Um, whenever I'm dragging butt in the afternoon, I can tell, oh my gosh, I haven't taken my supplements. Like clearly <laughs> I didn't take my supplements today. Um, but for my health journey, you know, when I started using the essential oils, I got that immediate relief for the migraines, but it wasn't until I started taking this trio of supplements, uh, consistently that I really felt that huge shift in my, in my overall wellness, not just physically guys, not just with, you know, the, the migraines and the aches and pains and, and whatever physical stuff was going on in my body, but the emotional shift was huge. And if you have ever struggled with migraines, you could probably relate to that, the physical pain, or I mean, I'm sorry, the emotional pain of it all. It sucks. It sucks missing out on life and having to cancel plans and be stuck in bed. And it's emotionally very draining. So I love the fact that this product takes care of me physically and emotionally on so many levels, on a cellular level. So, you know, especially for women, <laughs> I definitely would recommend starting with the Lifelong Vitality Pack. It's going to have your foundational nutrition, give you optimum home hormone balance and energy levels. And it's packed with nature's most powerful antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, and energy cofactors. This is the stuff, you guys. Like, I'm going to keep referring back to the Lifelong Vitality Pack because it's you just got to start there. Now, if hormone support is a focus for you, we have a few products that are specifically geared for women's hormones, one of which is the phytoestrogen complex. Now, this is a natural form of estrogen-like therapy, though it's not actually estrogens. I don't want you guys to think that you're like putting estrogens into your body and it's going to like throw off your balance. It does not work like that. It assists to naturally balance out not only a deficiency, but also any excess of harmful estrogen metabolites. It minimizes unwanted symptoms associated with the menstrual cycle. So if you're like me and you struggle with PMS and it definitely, it's always been, ever since I started menstruating, it's like a week long migraine. Like it's just really, really rough guys. Uh, and then during ovulation, it, it peaks again there. So get to know your cycle, know when you need the additional support. Um, I take one of these in the morning and one in the night every day, but if I am having a really bad, um, you know, menstrual cycle, then you can, you can up any of the supplements. That's the really cool thing about the supplements is that, um, it's not like, you know, pills and things, you know, medication where you're taking it and you can only take this much after this many hours. It's, it's not like that. Um, but this is, um, what this does, it actually has a fermented soy extract and it's going to support your body in lots of other ways too. It's going to help with healthy breast tissue and brings balance to, to your hormones. Um, but this is a, a really really easy way to just support your hormone levels daily. And this is good for women of all ages. So depending on where you're at pre post or pre peri uh, post menopausal, um, your oil mentor can help you, you know, figure out how many to start with and, um, each day and things like that. Now the other supple or the other oil that I would recommend for hormone support is definitely Clary Calm blend. This is a blend of essential oils specifically for women's hormones. Um, very heavy in Clary Sage. Um, lots of yummy florals in there. It's also very grounding. But I like to put this every single day. I'll roll this just ab right over my abdomen and it helps with the hormone balancing, heavy periods, PMS, cramps, hot flashes, mood swings, and of course those migraines, those hormonal migraines. So again, know your cycle, know when you're having those spikes in hormones and you can't, you know, when, with your natural cycle and this is going to help, you know, I would apply it much more frequently during PMS week than I normally do on a daily basis. All right, so um, how about stress, sleep? Sleep, 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 oh my gosh. It's crucial to our health, especially for our migraine health. So I wanted to show you guys my favorite options for getting a good night's sleep. And everybody's body is different, so you may prefer 
different scents than other people. Um, but overall, these are definitely the top five favorite oils for sleep support. Lavender is like simple, but super effective, all things soothing. Balance, this is, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite blends. It's our grounding blend. And men and women, I've actually never had anybody smell this blend and not love it. Because let's face it, you know, somebody could smell lavender. There are people out there, they exist, who don't like the smell of lavender. And if you're one of those people in this call, it's okay, we still love you, we accept you. But it is funny to me when people don't like the smell of lavender, but balance, everybody likes this oil. Kids love it. I love to combine all of these in the diffuser or on our bodies before sleep. And it's wonderful for helping your physical and your emotional bodies calm down, get settled and get some rest. Cedarwood. This is a beautiful oil to put in the diffuser. Um, I like to use it with my son, especially. He is, you know, trying to sleep in his own room, and if he has some separation anxiety, this can also help with that. Uh, Serenity is our calming blend. This is actually specifically for calming and sleep. So it's very heavy in lavender. It has a little vanilla absolute in there. So if you like um, vanilla lavender, you'll definitely like the Serenity scent. That one's super yummy. And then vetiver, this is a very earthy scent. And for people who it's a little too earthy for them, which I love it. I love the smell of dirt, grass, trees, all that. But if you don't really like earthy stuff, you may want to layer it with Serenity or lavender. Um, but that is a very calming oil. Oil. It's actually used by a lot of parents as a natural option for their kids with ADHD or people who just really need some natural um, sedative. This is a, a beautiful oil for that. So if sleep is your focus, these are my top five suggestions for that. So, um, you know, depending on where you are in your mood, I love this little mood matrix here. It kind of helps you because a lot of times when we're feeling really stressed out or emotional, we're like, I don't even know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling all the things. This can kind of help you figure it out, which, which oil to use. But um, so, you know, whether you're looking for more peace, if you're exhausted, if you've like lost all passion and joy in life, you're just feeling super stressed, these are some really great options for you. We've talked about serenity and balance on the previous slide, some great options for sleep, um, but they're also, remember, every single oil or oil blend is going to offer not just physical support, but emotional support as well. So you're getting so many benefits from your oils. Now, let's say you need some upliftment. Uh, we talked about some calming grounding oils, but maybe you need some upliftment in your day, especially right now. Oh my gosh, with this pandemic, like people really need some sunshine in their life. So I love the Citrus Bliss Blend. This is like a combination of a whole bunch of really happy, uplifting citruses. It's very energizing and it also has a little vanilla absolute in there, just like the Serenity. So it makes it a little sweeter. And then Elevation, this is our joyful blend. So it's super cheerful. It's just like sunshine in a bottle. I love to start this um, off uh, in the diffusers during the day, or if the kids are feeling a little grumpy, I like to put this in there and it's incredible how it can shift their mood around and shift mama's mood too. Now for overall uh, stress, anxiety, and sleep support, you can't go wrong with the Adaptive Collection. So this is a blend, it's specifically for calming. It's for stress, anxiety, um, people who have trouble sleeping love using this. And you can get them individually, but it's cheaper if you want them all to get them as a set. Now, the adaptive so, um, collection, let me show you how each of these work. So you have the oil blend here, and this is gonna be good for putting in your diffuser, for putting on your body. Um, if you just like to put it on your body, I would recommend the touch roller. I like to put this on the base of my neck um, whenever I'm feeling like that high anxiety or overwhelm, it takes me out of hindbrain and I'm able to really, you know, focus on one thing at a time, like got this, just one little step, one little thing at a time. Uh, and then as a preventative 
measure. I love the adaptive capsules. I actually will take um, normally one of these a day. Uh, honestly, during the pandemic, I've definitely been doing two a day, you know, one in the morning and then one in the late afternoon before it starts to get a little hectic as the kids are getting home from school and dinner's getting ready. You know, it's just uh, things pick up a little bit. You need to have your Zen on. So I take another adaptive capsule there. But if you're feeling super stressed out, again, you can take what you need. There's not like, uh, you know, prescription where it's going to be harmful to your body if you take too much or something like that. And you're just going to flush out whatever you don't need. Um, but I love to use them together. I find it the most effectiveness when I use the capsules preventatively. And then when that overwhelm comes, you know, if it, something's going on in my life, I'm like, whoo, I'm stressed out right now. I grab the, the oil blend. Um, but again, this can be used for, you know, for a few uses here. So uh, if you thought that stress or emotional support or sleep was an issue for you, the adaptive collection can take care of all of those. All right, so for those of you who were thinking maybe inflammation could be a cause of your migraines, uh, there are lots of essential oils that are highly anti-inflammatory. Again, we could do a whole class on that, but I wanted to just give you a little sneak peek into the symphony of the cells. If you've never heard of the symphony of the cells, this is a spinal technique and it's, it's a collection. There's a book that you can get and there's a collection of massage protocols that are formulated to create harmony physically, emotionally, and spiritually within the body. And each protocol is specific to a system. So for example, your lymphatic system, your digestive system of the body, allowing you to talk target specific ailments. So I put the um, screenshot of the inflammatory protocol here just so you can kind of get an idea. Now ideally you'd want to have somebody put this all over your back and if you could do it at least once a week or every other day would be like amazing. Um, but if you don't have somebody who do it to, your, to, to you, you can always just put these on the bottoms of your feet and that is definitely going to support you way better than nothing. Um, but yeah, we can do a whole nother class on Symphony of the Cells, but I just wanted you guys, if you hadn't yet heard of it, ask your oil mentor about this and how to get the book. Um, but the inflammatory protocol is very helpful for those of us who do have some extra inflammation in our bodies. I um, see a chiropractor once a week. If you're not seeing a chiropractor, that can be extremely helpful for migraines. Um, if you can't afford like somebody really expensive, there's a, a really great option is the joint. I don't know, depending on where you guys live, but here in Texas, we have the joint. It's, um, it's really cool. It's like a, a chiropractic membership and you go in there, you can see what, you know, the doctor that you normally see or, or other people. And it's just way more affordable. I think it's like 70 or 80 bucks a month for four visits. And then any additional visit after that is only $10. So if you're thinking, I can't see a chiropractor because it's way too expensive, there are options out there. And chiropractors really do help a lot. But for me, after a really rough adjustment, I do notice the inflammation is a little bit agitated. So I will uh, ask for an inflammation inflammatory protocol, or I will put the oils on uh, myself, especially, you know, where I can reach it at the base of my neck is really helpful after a rough adjustment to help bring that inflammation down. Um, okay. And then the last uh, trigger that, that I could, you know, show you guys is the weather. Now you can't control the weather, but you know, I have some options that can help. So if you're like me and every time it rains or you feel the barometric pressure coming, it's like, oh, you just feel the pressure building in your head. Uh, whether it's sinus pressure or for me, I actually feel it building in the back of my head. Um, and these can be some really good options for you. So for sinus relief, frankincense, peppermint, and lavender. This is also just a go-to trio for pain in general. So if you have a migraine and you just want a really simple trio to remember, Frank, Peppermint, Lavender. It's going to help with so many different um, things that you're struggling with.
Uh, but other blends, so the Breathe Respiratory Blend, this is specifically for opening up your airways. So, you know, having your lung, lungs open, taking deep breaths is very helpful when you are um, fighting a migraine. You need to be making sure that oxygen is flowing through your body. So again, peppermint is one of the oils that is in this Breathe and Digest Zen Blend, and that is because peppermint is particularly good at, at literally allowing more oxygen to flow through your body through your cells. Um, so, you know, oftentimes some people will just need to take some deep breaths with some peppermint and after a few minutes that, that migraine will pass. Um, but digestum can be very helpful. I know some people are like, what? Digestum, that's my tummy blend. I use that whenever my stomach hurts. Yes, but they're so versatile. There's so many uses for these oils and blends. So when I am feeling that sinus pressure and it's causing me a migraine, I will roll the digestum touch because the touch has already been diluted with a carrier oil. I love those touch rollers. They're so convenient. They're already diluted. So if you have sensitive skin, it's perfect for you. But I'll roll this Digest Zen roller right over my sinuses. Um, I like to put it, you know, you know, right over your bridge of your nose and your sinuses. But you also have sinuses over your eyebrows. Um, some people like to put it like right um, around their hairline and temples. Uh, but those are good places to help bring down the inflammation in your sinuses. And then eucalyptus, this is another really beautiful oil for um, just opening up those airways, opening up your sinuses and releasing that pressure. So um, hopefully you have some tools so far to help prevent those migraines, um, or if you feel them coming on, kind of nip them in the bud. Uh, but I wanted to show you my favorite options for pain because they're, you know, it happens. I'm, you know, I shared with you guys my migraine story. So I went from having migraines a couple times a week for my entire life to now I'll go a couple weeks. And when I do have a migraine, it's like night and day compared to what it used to be like. I mean, I used to be like, oh, great, I got a migraine. How long till we can get me to a point where I can even move to get in the car to get to the emergency room? Not anymore, guys. That's not how I live my life. And I don't want you to think that that's how you have to live your life anymore. Now I can take care of it at home and I move through it so much quicker, so much less more painful. And it's just, I, I've got what I need. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just a whole nother world. Um, but you know, when they do strike, these are my favorites for helping with that, the pain. So turmeric, you may have been hearing a lot about turmeric, the power of it, especially in its anti-inflammatory properties and, and pain support. And now I love to use the oil and these dual chamber capsules because what the, the capsules have is the powder. So, um, it, Long story short, the capsules work better because you have the powder and the oil. I'm not going to get too much into all of these, but um, all of these options here, you can use one, you can use two, you can use three, you can use all of them. And when I'm fighting a migraine, I'm trying it all. Like I'm putting on everything. I'm layering it. Um, you do want to wait 30 seconds in between each, each application. Like you can absolutely layer your oils. Please layer them, uh, but wait 30 seconds so they can absorb. And pro tip, use a carrier oil. Um, carrier oils actually help them absorb deeper. So if you can like make yourself a little pain roller blend, then you've got your little roller ball. It's got all of them in there. You can apply it. Because when, when you've got a migraine, especially if you're on your own and you don't have somebody taking care of you, you need to make it simple to like give yourself some relief. So um you know, play with these, figure out what you like, but if you just want to make yourself like a little pain roller that you can apply in the moment, that can be super helpful. Um, but I love to do the capsules. Like whenever I feel a migraine coming on, I'll go ahead and take two of um, the turmeric, two of the copaiba, and then, oh shoot, I thought I had a picture on here, two of the deep blue polyphenol capsules. Um, so we have a, a deep blue blend and it's available in the oil, but also in this deep blue rub. And honestly, I prefer the rub. I find it more powerful, but some people like the oil better. Um, but I will actually, um, as soon as I feel that migraine, come on, I'll put on the deep blue rub, like around the base of my neck, along my hairline. I'll take two turmeric, two co copaiba and two deep blue polyphenol capsules. And 
again, if I need to take more, I can. Uh, it's not like you know, the prescription drugs or, or over-the-counter medicine where you have to be really careful about how much you're putting in your body. Um, and I will just start layering on the oils. So turmeric is highly anti-inflammatory, wonderful for pain. Marjoram is, <laughs> not many people think of marjoram for pain, but it is a really powerful one, um, whether it's muscular, nerve, you know, whatever, whatever is going on. I love marjoram. Frankincense. You can't go wrong with Frank guys. And honestly, like if you had to choose one, oh yeah, I think if you had to choose like one oil for, for migraines in general, I would choose Frank just because it's offering so many benefits for you. It's good for your immune system. It's anti-inflammatory. It, it helps your, your good side, your good cells function at their best and helps the unhealthy cells die off so they don't continue replicating. It's just a really, really powerful oil. Um, great for pain, great for stress, anxiety, helping you sleep, great for depression. Um, it's just, it's an awesome oil. You can't go wrong with frankincense. And if you layer frankincense over any of the other oils, it's going to actually help um, intensify the effects of, of what other oils you're using. Past tense. This past tense blend is actually the blend that got me into the world of essential oils. I had tried everything before this blend. And a friend of mine passed it to me one day. And it was funny. I, she had, she gave it to me. I tried it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like magic. It's magic in a bottle. There's no way that this is really helping take my migraine away. Like right now I rolled it on and within five minutes, it just like melted away. And then couldn't have been a few weeks later, my, my oil mentor introduced me to doTERRA and I made the connection like, oh, that's what that magic oil blend was. And my life has never been the same since. So um, past tense is a really great blend for not just migraines, but tension in general. Anytime you're feeling tense, whether you, a lot of people like to put it on their, uh, their shoulders and, um, you know, where you carry all that tension. When you have a migraine coming on, you probably feel, right, all those muscles are like super tight and tense. So past tense can be a good one to just roll on super easy, give yourself a little shoulder massage, and you're going to feel a nice cooling, tingling sensation, and everything just like relaxes, and that tension just melts away. Aroma touch. This is another option. So I'm giving you guys lots of options because everybody's body is different. Um, but this is a massage blend. So this is great for circulation, pain, anti-inflammatory. Um, it is a little bit lighter scent, I'd say, than the than the deep blue. Um, this is this is definitely the more popular scent, I would say. The aroma touch. Everybody loves this one. Uh, and then copaiba. So copaiba is an oil. There's a really cool video if you uh, look up on YouTube, Dr. Hill, uh, copaiba versus CBD oil. He explains the differences and why copaiba is such a good option for those who are seeking um, for, you know, looking for other, other natural options out there. Uh, but copaiba is really great for your immune system. It's highly anti-inflammatory, anti um, great for pain. So, um, you know, a lot of these oils have similar properties, but they're going to smell completely different. And especially when you have a migraine scent is really, really important. So you want to choose oils that you like. Um, and yeah, play with your oils. So uh, let's keep going. I want to show you guys some options for nausea because that is, oh my gosh, I think honestly, besides the pain, yeah, the nausea is definitely the worst part, right? Because you can't keep any food down, any water down. It's really, really hard to start feeling better when you can't feel your body. So taking care of the nausea right away is crucial to get to feeling better. Um, so some options for that. Tamer. This is a part of the kids line. So it's uh, very gentle. It smells like spearmint. Um, but this is a great one to, to help with the nausea. Cedar wood. Now, <laughs> a lot of people don't think cedar wood for nausea, but for me, I don't know. I've been pairing cedar wood and peppermint lately for my, for my nausea, and it's been super effective. I used cedar wood a lot when I was pregnant. It was very comforting to me. It was, um, it helped me with my nausea. I would put it 
right under my nose whenever I was smelling food and things that were making me feel sick. Um, so again, you know, figure out what works for you, but you can't go wrong with any form of peppermint for nausea. Uh, this has been used in so many hospitals. Midwives are using it like crazy just because it's so effective for helping, helping people with, um, with their nausea. So you can smell it right out of the bottle. You can put a drop in your hands and take some deep breaths. You can put a drop of peppermint in your water and sip on it. That way you're getting hydrated and taking care of the, the nausea all at once. Uh, but maybe cardamom or ginger may be, you know, your oil of preference for nausea. I also like to use Digestin because it has the peppermint in there, but it's also, you know, I can roll it on my tummy, roll it under my nose and take care of the nausea and any um, tummy upset because like, I well, hope this isn't too much information, but for me, whenever my migraines come, um, I also have a lot of stomach issues as well. Um, so I kind of have to like take care of a lot all at once. So again, know your issues, know your body. If you need help figuring it out, reach out. It's kind of a thing. I'd like to help you out. Okay. Uh, some additional tips though, so important to stay hydrated. So, so crucial. You're not going to feel better if you're not staying hydrated. Like it's going to take forever to feel better if you don't stay hydrated. So if you can't keep down water, a lot of times that's too harsh for me. Um, like it hits my stomach and it just immediately makes me feel like I'm going to puke. So I like to start with like a warm herbal tea or you can do warm water and your essential oils. Um, or an electrolyte drink is really good. If you, if you have started throwing up and you, you need to have replenish those electrolytes in your body, preferably grab something without sugar, but vitamin water, Gatorade. I like to get the kids, um, unflavored Pedialyte, and then I'll mix it with like a little bit of vitamin water, um, or, um, body armor, you know, something like that. Um, so that's not just so intense. Cause again, if you're feeling super nauseous, really strong, uh, taste can be, and temperatures can be too intense. So be gentle. Like, if, you know, if cold water is too harsh, do, do warm water, um, just be gentle with your body. And then of course you want to be wanting to, as soon as you can keep some water down, add lemon oil. Any citrus is going to be helpful, but I especially have found lemon to be, um, for my body at least, the most beneficial, um, it's going to be a very natural, gentle detox for you. So um, it, it's just, yeah, win-win all around. The other tip would be to keep simple, bland foods and snacks on hand. I like to have a little stash of crackers, uh, some very accessible fruit, you know, nothing that I have to like peel or, or mess with. You want to keep it simple. Protein smoothies. I've definitely got some options. If you haven't found one that's tasty, I, we, you know, we've got some great options. Um, soup, bone broth, just really simple stuff, guys. It, especially if you don't have somebody to make the food for you, you know, some, some white rice, like it's just really bland, easy to stuff to keep down so that you can just kind of get to that point where you can start putting real food back into your body. Um, but having stuff that's super simple to make, because whether you have somebody taking care of you or not, like you want it to be super simple and easy and quick. Um, and the other to be consistent with your oils, you have to stay on top of it. Like when I have a fight and a migraine, I'm putting them on, I mean, sometimes it can be like every 10 minutes, honestly, but I mean, I'll usually do, I'll try to do like every 30 minutes, I'll reapply oils, taking a drop of frankincense under my tongue. I didn't mention that putting frankincense, a drop right into your tongue, a drop of frankincense on your finger and holding it to the soft palate of your mouth. So it's going to be the, the back of your mouth. Just suck on your finger for about 30 seconds with that frankincense on your finger. And it's going to, I mean, it's, it's really, really powerful. Um, but you have to be consistent. So Sometimes you'll put on your past tense roller and you're like five minutes later, you're like, oh, I'm good, but keep it up. You know, every 30 minutes, put on another layer because uh, sometimes it'll creep back in and you'll need to keep reapplying. So even when you start to feel better, just keep giving yourself what, you know, that goodness until you're in the clear. Okay. And 
Uh, I, you know, if you get with a really bad migraine, at least for me, I'll also be feeling it the next day. It's like a migraine hangover, right? And so you still want to be consistent with your oils. Stay on top of your supplements. Oh my goodness. Refuel your body. And then my final tip would be to keep a box with all your tools ready to go. Because when you it hits, you cannot, you don't have the ability to be running all around your house and grabbing everything. You want everything right in one place ready to go. So have your Epsom salt, have your oils, your snacks, your crackers, your water, your beverages of choice, all that a puke bowl. You could actually, I'm sorry, that's like so gross sometimes, but I like literally store it in a big, a big container so that when I need it, if I'm like really nauseous, I've got my puke bucket, I've got my stuff, I've got it all in one place. It ain't pretty, but it's real life, you know? And I wanted to show you guys some other, um, of just like some really cool tools that I have found. Now, as far as oils, get in contact with your oil mentor. Uh, if you don't have one yet, again, talk to the person who invited you to this, to this um, class. But a lot of people who suffer from migraines are um, deficient in magnesium. So yes, the supplements that we have absolutely have magnesium in them, but I actually take an additional magnesium supplement and you wanna be taking magnesium glycinate. So I did put the links here if you uh, wanna take a screenshot of them. Um, and this is just the one that I get. Now, acupressure can be very helpful as well. Now, unless you have somebody who's really, really strong, you can sit there for hours on end and squeezing your pressure point on your hand, you probably want to get one of these. It's a wearable acupressure thing. Um, it's a little pricey. I want to say it's like 30 bucks, um, but I think both of these actually are, are 30 bucks. But once you have it, like you're good. Um, and I, I believe it comes with two in the packs. So you can wear them on both hands, but it just squeezes that pressure point right in that, that meaty part of your, of your hand. If you didn't know, there was a pressure point there. Um, and you kind of have to kind of play with it to, to find it. But it kind of hurt when you squeeze it with your hand, it kind of hurts a little bit. Um, and when I have a really bad migraine, I'm like, like, please, somebody squeeze my hand, like, make it hurt. Like, it really does help. Um, but the wearable acupressure, it's not super painful. It's just going to put a little bit of pressure there so you can sleep with it on, you know, get some rest while you have that acupressure going. And then I love, love, love this migraine cap. Yes, it is goofy looking. Like, you will look like a fool, but it is super helpful. What it is is little ice packs in this migraine cap. And you can kind of, like, adjust them a little bit because, you know, everybody's head's different. You may need a little bit more pressure on different areas. You can kind of scoot the ice packs around, but you can use it to cover up your face, um, put it over your sinuses if you need to, uh, but this has been really helpful. I actually have two of those migraine caps because as I'm using one, I have the other one in the freezer so I can rotate them out. That's um, a tip. If you haven't discovered that yet, it can be really helpful to ice your head, especially the base of your skull when you have a migraine. So my, you know, I showed you all my oil tips. That's what I'll do is I'll I'll load on the oils, draw an Epsom salt bath, especially if you add some like Aroma Touch oils to the Epsom salt, it's really nice. I'll put my acupressure things on, I'll get my cold hat on and I'll sit in that tub and just let it melt away, all right? Um, so hopefully you guys gain some tools. Um, if anybody wants to stick around to learn the ways to get these oils into your home, if you're not yet a member, I'd love to share that with you. The first is going to be retail and nobody's going to pay that. That's like super, super expensive. Um, the second way is wholesale. So this is what everybody's going to be doing. I think everybody who's joining us live has already got your wholesale membership and you're already loving your oils, but this allows you to get the best products for the best prices, just like Costco. So you pay a $35 membership fee and it lasts an entire year. There's no like minimums, nothing you're locked into. There's, you're not signing your contract in blood. Don't worry. But this is just giving you wholesale prices, 25% cheaper than those poor fools paying retail price. And once you're a wholesale member, you have the option, totally optional, to participate in our loyalty rewards program. And that's what I do. 
because I actually, it's, it's like frequent flyer miles. So every time I order, I earn points that I cash in for free stuff. So I like to save up my points for frankincense because that's one of the more expensive oils. Um, and we have other packages and discounts that you can only get through the loyalty program. So if you're not familiar with the loyalty program yet and you are a member, ask your oil mentor because that's how we save even more money, right? So we know all the tips to, to saving. And when you are part of our team, you know, we're not just sending you oils and sending you on your merry way. We really want to have that relationship with you. We want to know what your wellness goals are, how we can support you. I like to send a little welcome packet to my people with some additional goodies, but we always give you a personal consultation. So once your oils arrive, we review your wellness goals and show you exactly how to use what you order. Because that would be really sad if you got all these wonderful oils and you forgot how to use them and they just sat in a box for six months. I don't want that. So I'm going to make sure you know exactly how to use these. You also get plugged into our VIP education group. So whenever you have questions, you're needing some support, community, looking for some fun DIY stuff, recipes, diffuser blends, stuff like that, it's all there available to you. We also have a VIP website where it's like literally an oil trainer at your fingertips. Like you can learn at your own pace about any topic under the sun um, and just amazing ongoing support. We have a team full of doctors, practitioners, nurses, healers of all modalities. Uh, so you really have a lot of people that have your back. Now, if you are not yet a member and you want to see some of our favorite packages for enrolling, because that's the, definitely the smarter way to go. You can pay the $35 membership fee and kind of like choose what you want, make your own kit, but we have enrollment kits that actually offer a bigger discount for buying as a set. And here's the best part, guys. That enrollment fee, that $35 fee, is included with all of these kits. So I'm going to show you some of my like favorite migraine kits to get started with. The first would definitely be the Healthy Habits Kit. So this is going to have that trio of supplements that we talked about. It's also going to have um, two additional supplements that are key for gut health. And that was big for me too on my health journey was getting my gut in balance. This is also going to come with a big old tube of that deep blue rub. So this has been a huge favorite for all pain of any kind. Like if you're hurting, if it's, if it's a physical pain, go for your deep blue. Um, but you have a big tube of that with this kit. And this is going to give you the, um, the starter size option of some of our favorite oils. Now the kits that I showed you, you're going to have the starter size in the five milliliter and then the larger size, it's triple the oil in the 15 milliliters. So this is the starter size oils. And we have these little stars here to show you which of these products we talked about in today's class. So many of these were covered in today's class. The lavender, frankincense, wonderful for uh, emotional support, calming your body physically, emotionally, great for pain, inflammation, balance. It's going to be the good one for sleep, um, stress, calming down. Lemon, this is going to help you detox your body, right? Help you keep down that, wa that water. Then you also get an on guard. This is going to be awesome for helping your immune system, staying healthy. Uh, another kit that I would suggest, uh, and again, different budgets, different needs. So get with your oil mentor and we'll help find the right one for you. But this is going to have uh, triple the oil as the other one. And tons of oils that we talked about in today's class and including a diffuser here. And then if you want to go big or go home, you can go the uh, natural solutions kit. This is going to have everything you need to really cut out the toxins in your home. Um, really start on that, that journey of, of toxic free living. So you're going to have all natural shampoo, conditioner, um, lotion, hand soap, mouthwash, toothpaste, uh, it's also going to give you a bottle of the fractionated coconut oil to help with diluting. You get a diffuser. You get a full month supply of that Life on Vitality pack, that trio of supplements we talked about, including the two for gut health. You get a whole bunch of on guard products to help keep your immune system at its best. You get a big old tube of the deep blue rub for your pain. And then a ton of these oils, including the past tense, deep blue, aroma touch, balance, Breathe, peppermint, lemon, lavender, frankincense, serenity, digestion, all those ones that we talked about today. 
<clears throat> and many of uh, um, the oil mentors have additional bonuses for you guys, depending on what kit you go with. So don't just like go on the site and order, help get them to help you because we're going to save you money and we probably have some freebies that we want to throw your way. So <clears throat> just my, my suggestion to you guys is to do something today that your future self will thank you for. And just by showing up today, you've already done that. You're learning some tools to put in your migraine toolbox, right? So uh, if you have loved today's presentation and you know other people who need this information, we have three ways that you can share with others. So we have a referral partnership. Again, ask your oil mentor because we each have our own program in place. But uh, I definitely have one where if you, if you have people who need this information, invite them to a class. And when they show up, you get rewarded with free oils. Maybe you want more information on how to help your friends get started with their own kits. And not only will it be benefiting them, but it'll be helping out your paycheck as well. So if you want to learn how to get some additional income flowing into your life, especially with the holidays coming, uh, this is a really great opportunity to do so and help other people at the same time. And then maybe you're interested in building a team and supplementing or completely replacing your income. If you want information on that, we'd love to get you plugged in. We've got free training and a beautiful team that really has your back, not just for like your emotional, physical issues and, and the support that we offer, but like it's a family. You're really getting an oily family. So uh, thank you guys again for taking the time today to learn about these natural options. Hopefully, um, you'll be sharing the recording with somebody else in need. And if you have any questions, please get with your oil mentor. I'm going to check real quickly, make sure we didn't have. Shelly said she's starting a migraine headache journal. Good idea. Yes. If you haven't done that, I mean, that really, it takes some time to figure out what your triggers are. But like, if you're just looking blindly for solutions, that's going to be a long journey. You really have to do the, the homework and figure out, you know, what's going on with your body. Uh, Carol says, I've been trying to eat clean for six weeks and I actually feel worse. Like I'm in withdrawal. Do I need a cleanse? I love the Life on Vitality Pack. Yes. Yeah, so when you do a cleanse, a lot of times you're going to feel worse before you feel better. That's your body detoxing. And all those symptoms are coming to the surface. Uh, for me, where I really saw it was in my skin. When I started my detox, like, whoo, like a huge flare up. If people are doing a digestive detox, they'll usually notice a lot of digestive dis discomfort before it eases away. So stick with it. I know it can be really uncomfortable, especially um, when you're switching up your diet and your body, especially if you're addicted to sugar. If you're, if you are uh, struggling with candida and sugar, which is in everything we eat, your body is literally like screaming at you, give me the sugar. I'm going to, you're going to die. And it feels like you're dying. So you're like, fine, here's the sugar. It's, it's hard. I've got tools. We've got the cleanse is really, really helpful for that because the cleanse actually, it flushes out that candida. So it's no longer tricking your brain into telling you, you have to eat sugar, you're going to die. So uh, yeah, the cleanse is super, super helpful. Um, and it can, you know, help some of those, those, the symptoms can flare up a little bit before they pass. Um, and the protocol that I have for the 30 day cleanse, um, you know, you can kind of take it slower if you need to, uh, which is just really important to, to work with your oil mentors. So you make sure you, you know, you're communicating. If stuff is happening, we can help you um, make it, you know, less intense. Um, but I love the fact that you are on the Life on Vitality Pack, Carol, because that's like, that is a big part of the cleanse. So the fact that you've already been taking that would make that a lot easier for you to make that transition. Um, and thank you for, I know you've had a huge, and feel free to share. If anybody wants to take themselves off mute, if you've had um, any success that you would like to share, any tips that have worked for you, please do. I'm going to zip and stop looking at the questions for a minute to give you all the opportunity to share. I'll share. Um, I have to say that when I get a migraine headache, I call Casey, but I know we all can't be doing that. <laughs> no, I had to make a list 
of things because whenever I get a migraine, I can't remember what to do. So, I mean, like Casey shared, she's got a puke bucket and, you know, just she's got everything all right there. So that's, I write everything down so that I can ask my people to wait on me because when I'm in bed, I, I, for some reason, I'd rather just lay there with the pain and just think, oh, if I just lay here and get still enough, it'll go away, but it never does, right? So. Well, I love that you wrote it down though, too, because like, for one, if your brain is in that much pain, you can't think of what you need. So you have it there. And a lot of times you're so bad, you can't talk, you can't communicate. So if you have a piece of paper that you can hand somebody, put this on me for this, you know, they have their little guide right there. So make your family like an oil survival, uh, um, a migraine survival guide with what your favorite oils are for your particular issues. Thank you so much for sharing that. That is such a good idea. I would like to share. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, I have um, arthritis in my back. And what John does is he puts three drops of um, the oil, the, you know what, the coconut oil, and then three drops of frankincense and three drops of um, deep blue. And that lasts a whole day. It's just amazing what it does. The other good news is um, John's blood, his hemoglobins, came in last week at 14.1, and he's had no intravenous iron in a year. And that's all due to the vitality pack that I started him on a year ago. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Yay. Thank you so much for getting him yeah. on there, Grandma. Oh, my God. That's my, my grandma, y'all. But yeah, my grandfather has had some serious um, iron issues. And for a lot of people, iron deficiency can be a big cause of migraines too. We didn't talk about that. So another reason, thank you so much, grandma, for sharing that. Yeah. Another reason to get on the lifelong vitality pack. Like it's the foundation for your health, right? So for, for, for you, cause you both, you and grandpa have been taking that. So what are, what other things have you been feeling, um, oh. I got kind of tickled at him because he said, oh, they're, he says, they're, they're, they're making me, I don't, I, and I said, John, you're feeling energy for the first time in a year. And he's <laughs> feeling the energy. He's also quilting. He's starting his eighth quilt now. Oh, by the way, nice quilt behind you. Thank you. She made that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just amazing. Um, you know, when, when I started Heather on it, she said she could leave her garage in a single bound uh, because I, I'm a little bit different it slows me way down, which is good because sometimes I jump too high and the vitality pack will absolutely calm me down also. Because that helps you get into homeo, into homeostasis. Yep. It helps yeah. your body get into balance. So whether you need the calming, like uh, I got that, I got that from my grandma. I run a little high strung. Some of us need some calming. Okay. <laughs> but other people, they need that that big energy boost. So the beautiful thing about these oils and supplements is that it helps your body get into balance for whatever it needs. So thank you so much for sharing that. Anybody else have any, any success stories that they, they want to share any tips, um, for migraines or that's, we didn't talk about today. All right. All right. I, let's see. I'm going to keep reading the Carol said, I have had a hysterectomy over 10 years ago and the doctor took me off my hormone therapy and I've been plagued by hot flashes. Phytoestrogen and Clericom have saved me. I use the oil whenever I have a hot flash. It works immediately. I use phytoestrogen twice a day, every day, and I love balance. Oh, you love it. Thank you, Carol. She's like, you've got so many. I think we could write a book with Carol just on all her <laughs> like favorites and success stories and you know all the amazing things oh my gosh you had a a huge I know it's not specifically migraine related but you you had a big um with your your lab work right when you before you were on life on vitality pack and then afterwards you want to share it all on that um it was my um liver I had my liver numbers from taking bad. all those pers- all the pain pills right I, that's right, right. Right, because I, I had so many headaches. I was taking Excedrin like every four hours. <laughs> and so my liver was awful. And um, yeah, I did the cleanse and then um, got on the lifelong vitality and got back to normal on my liver numbers. 
So, Yay. yeah. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh. Awesome. Mm-hmm. That's, that's really beautiful. Thank you guys so much mm-hmm. for your vulnerabilities. I know this isn't always easy to talk about your struggles, but honestly, like when you, when you've gone through something and you have found something that works, like what a gift it is to be able to share with other people. And it may not exactly work for them. They may need something different, but you know, you're showing them what's possible. You're showing that they, they have the patience to, to stick with it and figure out what works for them, for their needs. You don't have to live like that anymore. All right. Oh my gosh. What a gift to be able to share with other people, to let them know that they don't have to live in pain anymore. So thank you guys so much for being here today. Last chance. Any more shares? Thank you, Casey, and we'll see you at five. All right. Yes. Anybody who wants to jump on in, in an hour, we're going to have the uh, essential oils for empaths. So if you've been, your empathic powers have been on high alert lately with the, with the world around you, and maybe that's been causing a few extra migraines, perhaps, if you're looking for some support with uh, releasing negative energy, putting up healthy boundaries while keeping your heart open, we're going to have a really awesome class in about an hour on that. All right, so thank you guys. I'm gonna end the recording now.